is Nicole Wright and I am a performer and music educator here in New York City. And today I thought I'd take you along with me to play at a wedding. I was hired by an event company to play at a wedding with a quartet group. And so that's where we're on our way to now. I'm just gonna wear this to the venue and then I have my outfit at the venue. Before I head out, I often drink my lemon water and have my celery juice. You saw me making my lemon water here. I'm still drinking it actually. And I am now organizing the music because they sent our set list and they send that ahead of time a couple days before so we can get our music ready and look over any songs that might require any difficulty and to put it on our iPads because they ask us to bring our iPads. So I'm going to be packing up my stuff now. For this event, I will be playing the viola and I'm very excited to take you guys along with me. I have to head out because this wedding is about an hour and a half away. So they do have a carpool situation where they have people that will drive to the venue for those who do not have a car. So we don't have to worry about transportation. So I'm gonna pack up my bag now and head to the venue. I'm just so happy that I get to bring you along with me and show you what it's like being a performer in New York City. Many gigs over the summer are weddings and different events. Like the last event that I did was the Black Women on Broadway Awards event. And today is a wedding. I love how unpredictable it could be and how every experience can be a new experience. And for instance, yesterday my student had her first ever performance. She's six, six years old or seven years old, seven years old. She was just, she was so amazing, so professional. And I'm just so happy that I get to not only, I say this all the time, but I'm so happy that I get to not only just play, but I also get to teach and help set up the next generation for what I'm doing today. So I will stop rambling and I will get packing and take you guys along with me for today's little adventure. So let's get going. <laughs> you to bring a music stand, a foot pedal, black dress, black heels, pickup, and an iPad. So I just packed all of that here except my iPad because that will be my viola. For this event, I'm hired to play the viola. All right, I definitely have to get out. <laughs> I don't know what that word was, but you know what I mean. gig it's about eight o'clock and I was supposed to meet a couple friends my friends are in town from LA and I was gonna meet her because she lives she leaves tomorrow to go to Europe but the hang was pretty much during my gig today that you guys just saw so I don't think I'll be able to see them being a musician is so 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 like it means so much to me I love it love it love it love it but it is a lot of work. So if it looks like I make it look easy, it is really not. I am constantly juggling things and doing multiple things at once. Like on this way to my gig, I was emailing others about another gig that I have coming up and contracting for another gig and organizing music all at the same time as I traveled to my gig because it was like an hour and a half. So. I was talking with musicians, but I was also like on my phone, sending out text messages and responding to emails and looking at music. So as a musician, you're always juggling. And I think that's a good thing because I feel like it makes life exciting, but it is 
you know, like any job, a lot of work. So I don't think I'll be able to see my friends from LA this week, but I do have another friend in town and she doesn't leave till next Saturday. So I'll get to see her for the rest of the night. It's eight o'clock. I haven't eaten yet because it's just been go, go, go today. So I'm going to try to find a nice restaurant. And then even though it's eight o'clock, I am going to go to a cafe and work. It'll be nice to bring you guys along with me as I go to eat at a nice dinner and then go to a cafe. There's this cafe I like in Chelsea and that's open till midnight. And so that'd be kind of cool. to the cafe now it's about nine o'clock now because of course it took me forever to leave the house but here's the fit i wore this to my gig before i changed into my concert black and then since it's a little laid out um i just put this sweater on to keep me nice and warm because it's not as warm when the sun was out <laughs> dinner was fabulous i absolutely loved it i got the lobster white cheese corn and bananas and i got the short rib sandwich with hand cut fries and honestly it was so 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 good and the short rib was so tender the lobster and banana had so like large chunks of lobster in it so like <laughs> <laughs> it was just, it was juicy, the cheese, you could, it was pulling all around. I would give it a 10 out of 10 if you got the things I got because I didn't get anything else. So I want to know how the other stuff tastes. But I ended up eating and staying there so long that the, it's now 11 something. And so like the cafes are, by my house are closed and it's too late to go to the cafe that I love down in Chelsea because by the time I get there, it's gonna be closed. So I just came back home and I think that I ate so much that I'm going to just go to sleep. Not sleep, but just maybe relax and watch a movie. It is already late. I can do some work tomorrow and catch up. Sometimes I can be in this mode where it's just like work, 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 and it's okay to relax, you know? It's okay to take this time. I tell myself that. So I'm gonna tell myself that. I'm gonna get in the shower sign off here i absolutely love you guys i love you a billion you know a true pleasure spending time with you and if you'd like to see more give a little hug to that subscribe button so you can see my latest videos i'm wishing you all the best and more good night